The Canon Keys Cerberus is here featuring a very nice and interesting design with a very fun layout. And while they did sponsor this video, the opinions on this keyboard are all my own. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. This keyboard starts off at a price point of $285 and is a group buy that launches on October 25th. With that being said, there are plenty of different color options to choose from and layout options as well. You get win keyless or win key. A lot of the color options are pretty nice. The one I have here today is the black with lilac. And while I personally am not a massive fan of it, I do still think it looks quite nice because the idea that a keyboard top plate is staying black, but the sides of the keyboard actually change color or vice versa the top part of the keyboard changes color to lilac for example and the panels being black is also very interesting so I really like that they're kind of being creative with these color combinations. The build process is a bit more challenging or intricate that it requires a lot more screws and different screw sizes but other than that everything has a spot for it. This is kind of a continuation from the previous keyboard that I reviewed from Canon Keys that also had a bunch of screws and was not that beginner friendly but everything was easy to figure out where each screw goes and so on and so forth. That is still the same with the Cerberus which is very nice to see. Another thing that's still the same is that the finish on this keyboard is very premium, smooth, and nice to the touch. In the front of the keyboard above the arrow keys there is this little Cerberus with an LED behind the eyeballs. So the eyes of the Cerberus will light up. Now this will be changeable in VIA once this keyboard goes live. But as you can see here, since this one is kind of lilac, the eyes are purple. Me personally, I would recommend lowering the brightness for the RGB so you can not only see the Cerberus, but also see the glowing eyes altogether. Overall, I do think it is a very nice touch. And I like when keyboards try to do something on the front of it and not just the bottom. Speaking of the bottom of the keyboard, the star of the show is this really intricately designed Cerberus medallion. The detail on this thing is crazy and it is color matched to which keyboard color you choose. The one thing I personally am not a big fan of is the two bars kind of on the side of it. I kind of feel like it's a bit out of place or looks weird, but I do love the way this Cerberus artwork design looks on the back of the keyboard. The switches I'm going to be using for this keyboard are the Keybay W1 Black Diamond switches. And the reason why I chose these switches is because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the color options are quite creative and these switches come in three different stem colors where you can just mix and match as the stem color of red, green, and blue has the same weight, travel distance, etc. So I think it is a very fun switch to pair with the very creative color options that this keyboard has to offer. I used an FR4 plate. Now it doesn't include case or plate foam or anything like that, which in my opinion, it's still a miss. And the keycaps I'm gonna be using are the Canon Keys November Fog. Now something to point out about this keyboard is the mounting style is a bit different. So it's kind of like a half gasket mounted style, which is featured on their Brutal V2 keyboards from Canon Keys as well. This means that the plate only has gaskets on the bottom and not on the top of the plate. So that makes it towards where it is pretty much like a top mount, but it's not as rough or harsh on the bottom mount. So it does have a softer typing feel while keeping more of that top mount feel versus the bounciness that a fully gasket mounted keyboard provides. It's quite fun, you know, honestly, I really enjoy how this keyboard feels to type on. It does feel less harsh than a top mount like it's supposed to, which in my opinion is great as I personally prefer gasket mounts over the harsher typing feel of a top mount. So the fact that this is in the middle is great. Here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds.
So if the sound test wasn't very apparent enough, it's obviously leaning more towards the clackier sound signature, which I do quite like, but I was not a big fan of the fact that it sounded so hollow. One mod a lot of people like to do to their aluminum keyboards is the force break mod to remove that pinginess that this keyboard may have. Thankfully for them, they actually include some mini gaskets that you can apply or not apply, you know, it's optional if you want to kind of give it that force break mod now obviously this is up to you but the fact that they include that at least is something i'm really happy about overall i think this keyboard has very unique color options and it's very cool light up servers above the arrow keys in the back medallion but i do think in terms of price it is a bit steep, I'd say, but if you are interested, I'll be leaving a link to the Canon Keys Cerberus in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the Cerberus keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.